college calls cops on student who said tranny on radio. Kicks them out of studio. Staff at the University of Minnesota Morris called the police after two radio show hosts used the word tranny on their program. Hosts Brandon Albrecht and Taylor Lehman were hosting their show Deplorable Radio on Friday, when Albrecht used the term tranny while discussing a transgender person, the College Fix reported. Albrecht was discussing the lack of the Antifa presence on campus, adding that the campus was too small for violent activists to hide their identity. You know, you can definitely, you see one tranny that's trying to punch someone, Albrecht said, as reported by The Fix. You know it's automatically that one guy that you know I'm talking about. I bet you know. I'm not going to dox anybody and name them on air. But you to know if I say the tranny who looks like he's going to punch someone, he added. The station manager reportedly called the police, and a umped officer joined her when she kicked Halbrecht and Lehman out of the studio. In the video, she can be heard saying that the use of the word was a violation of the Federal Communications Commission. A week later, Albrecht and Lehman were called before an executive board meeting and told that they were permanently suspended from the radio by executive decision. Albrecht also told The Fix that the board changed the stated reason why the two are being reprimanded. While the word tranny did not violate FCC guidelines, the board told the men that they received complaints the week before that the hosts sounded like they were under the influence while broadcasting, which was an FCC violation. According to First Amendment lawyer Bob Cornerveer, the board was wrong about both alleged violations of federal communication laws. The officials are wrong, Cornerveer told The Fix in an email. Neither, saying the word tranny nor broadcasting while under the influence, is a violation of FCC rules. The station manager then acknowledged that the language used didn't violate FCC regulations, and changed the reason why the show was canceled again citing that it did not follow the two new songs per hour guideline. Albrecht said other shows do not follow every station rule either and they are still on the air. It is a shame, Albrecht wrote, that our freedom of speech is being curtailed today in the very place it should be most free, on college campuses. Watch Albrecht and Lehman's forced suspension here. Albrecht is right, it is a shame that his freedom of speech is being limited. It's sad to see that hypersensitive liberals have almost destroyed campus culture, as colleges were once a bastion of free speech and debate.